Well, a third child from New York State has died from the flu this season, and health officials expect that number to rise. So why are kids at such a high risk this flu season compared to last? Two on your side's Leanne Stuck found out. We know this flu season has been bad, and the CDC says cases here in the United States are on the rise, and doctors don't know when it will peak. We've had over 500 cases of flu um, that have tested positive in our emergency room since the beginning of the flu season. Last year at this time, we were at about 160. But it's not just the number of cases that has doctors worried. One particular strain of the flu is taking direct aim at kids. The CDC says 39 children have died from the flu this season, including one here in western New York. Of those 39 deaths, 28 were directly associated with influenza strain B. The CDC says this particular strain showed up much earlier than usual this season and is a big reason why more kids are getting sick and even dying. The number of kids who have died this season from influenza strain B is almost three times more than all of last flu season. In New York State, um, we've seen a, a significant number of flu-related deaths in the pediatric population, and also CDC reports across the United States, we've seen pediatric flu-related deaths. The CDC says influenza B is most commonly reported in children because the virus does not change much year to year. Of course, the ultimate solution to keeping you and your kids healthy this flu season Hand washing is really, really important um, all the time, frequently teaching your children to wash their hands well, encouraging kids to do that while they're in school. It's really important for uh, people who haven't already been immunized, especially parents that have children that haven't already been immunized against influenza, to get them immunized as soon as possible. And if you have any more questions about this flu season, head on over to our website, WGRZ.com, or our Two On Your Side app. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.